Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Pragmac. Today I wanted to share my thoughts about a different kind of laptop, a laptop that gives you total control of upgradability, repairability. I'm talking about a new company, it's a new startup company, a framework, and they are producing the Framework Laptop, which from their perspective is all about being able to upgrade it, maintain it, repair it, and is a bit of a rejection of the current state of electronic devices. The ability to repair devices and maintain our own electronics has pretty much disappeared. A lot of times now the best electronics or at least what we consider the best electronics are also the hardest to repair and the most expensive to repair. They are also almost impossible to upgrade at a later point. A good example would be Apple laptops and MacBooks in general. Once you've selected the hard drive and the RAM it is virtually impossible to change these aspects and these specifications later on as RAM tends to be soldered on to the device. And these issues expand beyond the Apple sphere. A lot of manufacturers have the same problems. The sleeker the laptop, the harder it is to repair or upgrade it. And for a long time, we've been told that this compromise was a requirement. We needed to compromise to have the coolest designs, to have the coolest looking tech. We need to compromise on being able to repair it and being able to upgrade it. And Framework is gonna flip that and they're gonna change that narrative. Framework doesn't think you need to compromise on ports. They don't think you need to compromise on the ability to upgrade or swap out components at a later date and give your laptop longevity and life. The Framework laptop is a pure rejection of that. They are offering pure upgradability, pure repairability, and they promise longevity with the ability to upgrade later on. And at a later time, if you need to repair it or it's all going to be in your hands. The Framework laptop is the laptop that ships with a screwdriver. The mission of the company is few trade-offs in design, small ones to achieve big gains in easy repairs, and the Framework laptop is a throwback to an earlier time in computing, where you would buy a laptop and maybe later on you would upgrade the RAM when you needed to, maybe you had an operating system shift, you need to upgrade the operating system, and then you would throw in more RAM, a bigger hard drive, and not to mention another thing that's been lost in the ever-growing movement towards thin and light is ports. A lot of times, a lot of the laptops we've gotten used to have just USB-C, there's a lack of ports, and you're stuck using a variety of dongles, maybe isn't really the solution you were looking for. And the Framework laptop, it's not going to be for everybody, but it is going to be for those who want to take back control of their devices, have that long-term upgradability, and expand the system whenever you want. Framework has developed an expandable card system that makes makes it easy to swap out for storage or ports. You could easily take a USB-A and swap it out for a USB-C or an HDMI. As well, if you need more storage, it's going to be as easy as grabbing a cartridge. And in addition to this system, as you can see, you can fully open up this laptop. You can swap out keyboards to change out languages. You can change out the bezel. There are two memory slots, which will allow up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. And the Framework laptop will actually be capable of even having the main board swapped out, allowing for further upgrades down the line. This version is going to be shipping out with 11th generation Intel chipsets. However, they're promising to have other motherboards available in the future and swap out the chipset as well. We are talking end-to-end, -end, top to bottom, fully replaceable, fully upgradable. And some other highlights on the device are a 1.5 millimeter travel keyboard. There is a privacy focused camera, meaning there's an actual physical shutter on the webcam. There is, however, no mention of the Windows Hello face authentication system. It does have a 1080p webcam, but I don't think it has those secondary sensors required to enable Windows Hello. So from a design perspective, it does look like most modern laptops. Something to know with the display is it has a 3 to aspect ratio and a 13.5 inch display, which is the exact same size and aspect aspect ratio as the Surface Laptop. The Surface Laptop 3 has a 13.5 inch display and a 3.2 aspect ratio. And even though it has the same display size, it doesn't have the easy ability to upgrade or maintenance. Here is a very specific choice by Framework to target the same display size and screen aspect ratio as Microsoft. Most laptops today are 16.9 or 16.10. 3.2 is a pretty unique aspect ratio and Microsoft has been really 
the main player using it. So this could be an interesting device to compare and consider if you are already looking for a Surface Laptop 3. Where it does get a little bit complicated right now is pricing. Pricing is currently unknown, it has not been announced, and that complicates any definitive thoughts on this product. Pricing is going to be a make it or break it in my opinion, and that's going to have to do with the balance between replacement costs of a device, repairing costs of a device, and generally how much extra do I have to pay when I buy this laptop? I'm going to assume that it's going to cost slightly more than buying a non-repairable, non-upgradable laptop. And so then it's going to have to be an active decision on what value do you place being able to fix it yourself. If the framework laptop costs too much, then the repairability and upgrade potential might be too expensive for anyone to take advantage. They might buy the laptop, but then if the upgrade later on is also expensive, where you're at the point that you might consider just buying a new device. And that would defeat the entire philosophy set out by framework. I think pricing is going to be very delicate and it will be very interesting to have a comparison when the pricing is set out, what it costs compared to say an existing Surface laptop or perhaps another laptop on the market with similar spec. However, while we wait on pricing and we wait to make a final decision, what is important is that framework with their laptop is bringing back something that has been lost in consumer electronics and that is control. Control by the consumer. Control over what you want to buy, the configuration you choose to buy, and later on if one component fails the ability to just replace that component and not have to consider replacing the entire laptop. And that is something that is very hard to find in the market today. And another thing to consider is just how interesting the ordering process is going to be for this device. You can buy a pre-configured model and have that shipped out to you or you can actually choose the DIY edition of the laptop. The best part, you get to assemble it yourself. And that is almost unheard of of any laptop. To be able to not only fully customize the configuration but be able to put it together yourself, putting the components together for the first time, having the device come together and work. That is going to be very useful information down the road if you ever want to tweak it or repair it. So what I like about Framework is that they're putting you in the driver's seat, they're putting you with the knowledge base, and they're empowering consumers to be able to not only own their tech, but understand their tech and service it as well. And that's a major shift from the shiny aluminum boxes that we're used to purchasing that have minimal ports and even less access. Opening up a device in 2021 is just kind of a lost art, and Framework is going to try and bring that back. An interesting aspect of their approach is, for example, all the components in the computer will have a QR code and that QR code on those components will take you to an online guide and that guide can tell you how to replace it. Again, knowledge first. I look forward to seeing how the framework laptop does, what the pricing turns out to be and how well it gets adopted in the market. I'm hoping to see it be very successful because I like that things are being changed up a little bit and I like choice in the marketplace. Thank you everyone. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. Please let me know your thoughts on the framework laptop and if this is a device that would interest you leave your comments down below and if you've enjoyed this video or have been enjoying a few of these videos so far maybe you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you thank you everyone and as always thank you from pragmac